Yo, KP Sky here. What's going on, too? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick video. So, you guys have been on this journey with me. I sold all of my Polk Audio LSIM speakers, and yes, it was hard for me to do, and it was hard for a lot of you guys to watch because a lot of you guys have been here long enough to know that those are my dream speakers, and I've had them for two or three years now, and I absolutely love them. I raved about them, I defended them against everybody, and then I went around and sold them. Um, but nonetheless, I have been searching for speakers for the last two, three, maybe four weeks now, and I know what I want. I have a plan A, B, and a C just in case something happens. Um, but I know what I want. I'm not going to tell you guys yet, but what I do want to share with you guys um, is um, a special thank you to a lot of you guys. So I made a video a couple weeks ago saying I didn't know what to get. I was between these two brands. What do you guys think? And a lot of you guys have chimed in on some really helpful feedback. I'm not going to say any names. I don't know if they want their names out here on YouTube. Um, but you know who I'm talking about. You know that I'm referring to you when I say thank you for all the help and the advice and the links and the videos and the forums and reviews that you guys have sent me personally an email. You guys got my number and texted me. You guys have been commenting on my YouTube videos and telling me all these things that I didn't once know about certain speakers. And so it's really helped me uh, find the speakers that I want, and I'm absolutely excited to get them. I'm have to save a little bit more money in the pocket um, before I can get what I really, really want. So it's going to be just a little bit longer before I get them, um, but at least now I know what I'm looking for. Um, so special thanks to you guys for emailing me, taking time out of your day to email me, text me. You offered a phone call. You've um, submitted comments down below in all my videos to help me out, and I really, really appreciate that. Now, like I said, this isn't a subscriber showcase video, so it's not going to be as organized as one of those kind of videos. But what you're looking at now is his office here. And inside his office, he has a pair of Monitor Audio Gold 100s. Those are the bookshelves that you can kind of see on the left and the right. And he says these sound absolutely spectacular, especially at near field. Um, this is one of the few speakers that he has in his house, and he uses the Gold Monitor Audio 100s as his two channel setup in his office, in his office, guys. So let's go ahead and continue on. So the guy is really handy as well, DIY kind of guy. He has some DeVale Jupiter speakers that are absolutely fantastic. And he said they're not very cable fussy. I mean, you can kind of put whatever cables you want to with them and they sound amazing. And he actually made the cables himself. I'm not sure if I have a speaker or excuse me, a picture of them, but he does have a background of all his knowledge where he made his own speaker cables. Here's a bigger and wider shot of the room itself, but at the, at the bottom there, you can see he owns the Kef LS50 that he's had for some time, and people rave about these, and he says they're impressive as well, but to his opinion, he thinks they're a little metallic sounding, which is okay. Everybody has their own taste and opinion, but um, he said he would never have a Kef speaker as his main, which is a very interesting point to make. When I say mains, I mean like front, left, and right, and he says he'd never buy one as a main speaker because of the lack of organic sound that's very interesting here's more shots of that room there it looks absolutely comfortable and cozy which is what you want to have when you're at home listening to music he also owns a pair of Eli Adante bookshelf speakers which is something I was considering at one point and uh, he said they're very impressive as well as the Adante AF 61 that he's also considering which I was also considering um, so he's very knowledgeable on this source and I really appreciate all his opinion and expertise and it's made searching a lot easier Thank you, thank you, thank you. Before we go, I do want to say I got a few announcements for you guys. A lot of different and really cool projects coming on the channel really, really soon. Um, I'm doing a big collaboration with some other YouTubers. I can't say anything at all, but just be, just be in tune for that. Doing a huge collaboration with some YouTubers. I also partnered with another company that I partnered before, which you guys really like the video of. They sent me some products out for review that I have to review for you guys this week. So stay tuned for that. And we have a new um, company that wants to work with me on some car speakers. So they say they're going to be better than Diamond Audio speakers, which I currently have in my car now. So they're going to send me out some speakers, and we're going to see if they're any good. And they're actually not too expensive. So for my car guys, stay tuned because I have some car stuff for you guys coming up. For my home theater guys, I have a lot of stuff coming for you guys. So if you're not subscribed already, now's the time to be. I mean, what are you going to do? There's nothing to do. You can't go outside. You can't. You can't go to the mall. You can't go to the movies. Just go watch K-Pace Guy all day. Just watch K-Pace Guy all day. So if you're not subscribed already, poke that subscribe button. And then if you like this video, definitely leave a like on it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. K-Pace Guy out. Peace.